Hi everyone. So today we're going to be talking about sort of the machine learning journey uh, in Trendual. Uh, I'm here today with Mohammed. Uh, do you want to introduce yourself? You know, what do you do at Trendual? How long you've been here? Okay. Um, my name is Mohammed Emi. Mohammed Emi Topos. I'm working as a, I'm a platform name engineer uh, about two years, yeah. nearly two years. Uh, how about you? Uh, I'm Khan. Uh, I work in the data science team, uh, and I've also been at Trendual at about three years. Uh, and so before I guess we get into the nitty gritty and kind of like the technical details of what the machine learning journey encapsulates in Trendul, uh, you know, we want to talk about, you know, what is really machine learning from our perspective. And the classical definition could be, you know, it's a collection of statistical methods. Uh, but, you know, really what it is from, I guess, a business perspective is that it's a collection of methods that helps us make uh, everyday decisions within some margin of error. Uh, and, you know, the, the simplest example is that, you know, when we first start learning about this stuff, uh, you know, it's kind of like, oh, you work in a factory and you have two types of fish and you only know the lengths of what they are. You know, how do you separate them? Or, you know, uh, how do you approximate how tall a plant is going to grow based on like the soil component or something? And, you know, that's sort of how we learn the basics. And then uh, you really sort of apply the same methods to different analogous problems. Uh, but, you know, uh, before, uh, you know, uh, that there's also the fact that uh, how, I guess, uh, what's sort of like the journey like for us, you know, it starts all the way from, you know, data collection, goes into model development, deployment, monitoring. Uh, I guess, you know, what's that journey from your perspective as an ML engineer? Okay, let me try to summarize a model journey mm -hmm. uh, from idea to production. Uh, and the first step, uh, our data scientists collect the data mm -hmm. and then clean the data. Uh, as ML platform engineers, we provide them a data store applications and uh, compute power to mm -hmm. process their data and uh, clean their data. The second step is uh, deployment of the models. And to deploy their models, uh, they have uh, generally two different strategies. One of them is the batch prediction, mm. and the second one is the live prediction. In the batch prediction, uh, we provide them ML platform, ML platform operator uh, solution. Mm. Uh, with that uh, solution, uh, data scientists can uh, scale up their application with desired uh, resources. And the second one is the, the hard one, uh, the live inference. Mm. In that solution, uh, we have high scale throughputs and we try to uh, predict the models in live. Uh, after uh, the models make some predictions, we need some monitoring tools. Mm. Uh, for that, uh, we provide our data scientists uh, some monitoring applications uh, to see how the models are going and how much they uh, are good. And they can uh, also and uh, inspect their uh, models efficiency and uh, accuracy. Uh, that's the three step of our site. But you know, I guess something to, to underline uh, from my perspective is that, you know, we work really closely uh, all the way from, you know, when we've, or my teammates have, you know, trained uh, a model all the way to, you know, uh, deploying it to production, monitoring after it's in production, you know, it's really sort of a back and forth deal where we work really closely? Yes, uh, as a platform engineer, we need to work uh, nearly as much as possible with the data mm. scientists uh, because uh, we provide some solutions for them and mm. make them uh, make their uh, lives much more easier. So I agree. <laughs> so it's very important to create uh, a strong communication. Mm. But what do you, you know, uh, you talked about, I guess, the, the technical journey, but you know, what was the uh, emotional journey for you? You know, how did you get involved with machine learning? What made you take it up as like a profession? Uh, you know, how did it come into your life? Uh, I first met uh, with uh, the uh, machine learning in my, uh, you know, in my COVID time. Uh, in that time, I work on uh, autonomous driver cars. Mm. Um, in that time, uh, it was very hard to uh, create an algorithm to decide the steering angle of the uh, 
uh, car. So we decided to work with uh, deep learning models. Mm -hmm. uh, when I work with deep learning models, I see that uh, instead of learning all hard stuff mm -hmm. uh, for the deciding the string angle, instead of uh, that using a machine learning model is much more easier. And it was very interesting for me. It was mm -hmm. much more easier with this solving a problem with the data. So um, I think machine learning probably will be the, the best choice in, the, in, this, in those kind of uh, problems. So I decided to work on mm. machine learning. But what I want to see is not the creating a machine learning model. Mm. I want to see how they are working and uh, how can we implement them. So I decided to uh, work as a ML platform uh, in my career. So I started working with uh, Trendios. Mm. I mean, your journey, I guess, is much more uh, virtuous than mine in the sense that, you know, uh, you're working with, you know, self-driving cars and, you know, autonomous steering and that kind of stuff. You know, for me, it was just I wanted to, I guess, uh, predict the outcome of some football match or something. And it was just, you know, oh, how do I get this data into some sort of computable environment? Okay, now that I have it, how do I make some sort of statistical, uh, how do I gain some statistical insight into this data and how, you know, I can uh, act on that insight? And, you know, suddenly I found myself, oh, I'm doing data science. Uh, and, uh, you know, it was sort of, uh, I didn't really understand how I got into it, but I found myself in it, basically. Uh, you know, also talking about, uh, I guess, uh, what that is, you know, how we get results from it. You know, you were doing autonomous driving, I was doing some sort of betting algorithm. Uh, but uh, in the end of the day, I guess, when we're talking about what the impact is of uh, deploying a model, especially in Trendio, uh, I guess it's that, uh, well, the funny story is that uh, sometimes, uh, for example, let's say we deployed a model two, three months ago uh, and it went very badly, uh, which happens sometimes, you know, failure is a part of that. Uh, but we had this shirt that was uh, like number one of this ba badly performing model. And, you know, we took it down, but for two weeks, I saw that shirt everywhere in Istanbul, you know, and it really shows this, you know, even the slightest changes uh, affects, you know, how people purchase things, you know, in their everyday lives. But uh, I guess the reality uh, of what we actually, you know, how we measured this impact is that we sort of try to aggregate uh, the actions of 30 million users across, you know, all devices uh, onto, you know, seven or eight metrics. And uh, the really interesting part is that uh, we can track this in real time, you know. Uh, the moment our algorithm starts performing better and people start clicking more or are basically what our ultimate measure of, I guess, uh, success for an algorithm is how fast are people, uh, you know, uh, getting, you know, what they're searching for. And, you know, tracking that in real time uh, is really sort of uh, seeing, at least from my perspective, the impact of what, you know, me and you and all of our teams are doing uh, in Trendio. Yes. Uh, and yeah, I guess that's uh, sort of recaps what the journey is of, uh, you know, machine learning from both a data science and a machine learning uh, engineer perspective. Uh, you know, we're going to be, you know, talking more about uh, topics similar to this. And, you know, if you want to, uh, I guess, if there's anything that you're curious about, please, you know, leave it in the comments and we'll try to address it. Uh, and, you know, if you're interested uh, about, you yeah. know, working in Trendyol for either data science or ML engineering, uh, you know, just uh, go to our LinkedIn and apply. Uh, we'll be, you know, happy to see us with you, uh, see you with us. And yeah, thank you. Thank you.